Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Marcos, and uh, as you can see, I'm without my camera guy, so this is kind of an impromptu thing. But I'm over here in chilly Glendale, California. I'm going to talk to Karen Darabidian and Manny Gamburian on their WEC 44 wins. And uh, we're here at their gym right now, so let's go ahead and take a look. Everybody's going. We're here with Manny Gamburian. Manny, let me be the first to congratulate you on your WEC 44 win against Leonard Garcia. How are you feeling, man? How do you feel about that fight? I feel good, man. I feel good. I think it was a tough fight, you know. I, ex uh, I didn't expect he was going to be that strong and, you know, more technical than, you know, but he was, he was pretty tough. I and mean, he was like, like I said, he was, he was the punches that had thrown on me. But we were trying to close the fucking deal. Trust me. I mean, hard fight. It was a good fight. It was a good weekly for me. Now, was it frustrating uh, dealing with his height and his reach advantage? Not exactly. It's just not, not the height. It's just, you know, it was pretty dangerous, you know. Like, I mean, I was looking at his fights and, you know, he's dangerous every aspect of the game. But I know it was going to be dangerous on the ground, but once I take him on the ground, like, it was the whole game. But he was trying to, you know, stand up all the time. I think that was the hard part, you know. He worked hard. Like, I mean, I can tell you, pretty hard work, pretty hard. But I was ready. I was ready to go for a war. But I knew it was going to be a tough fight and we ended up in victory. Now, the moment you took him down, did you feel like, okay, I got this guy, the fight's mine now? No, every time I take him down, he was trying to stand up, you know, he didn't want to stay there. I mean, obviously he trained not to stay there with me and, you know, he was trying to more, you know, get into my head and stand up more, but that was a good game plan for him, but I, mean, I was, I was going to stick with his game plan. I had my game plan with myself and I listened to my coaches, thank God, you know, I didn't fall for his jokes or anything like that, so. Now, how hard is uh, Leonard to hit, man? Man, he hits like a motherfucking truck, he hits that much. He hits really hard. Like, like I said, when Rashad Evans said, you know, he's like, you know, he he's one of the hardest hitting in uh, Greg Jackson's camp. I believe in that. I thought it was a joke for a sec, but I don't think it's a joke anymore. But he hits really hard. Yeah. So good luck whenever whoever fights him next. You know, he's going to be probably more hungrier because, you know, coming off a lose, he's going to go for a fucking knockout or TKO. Do you feel you hit harder than him? Uh, I think I can hit harder. Yeah, I, I hit pretty hard, but, you know, but I think he hits harder, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next, man? Are you going to fight uh, Aldo or what? Whatever WC got for me, man. I'm not gonna sit here and beg for them. You know, whatever they think comfortable. If I, if they think I got Aldo, I'm hands down. I'm, I would love to fight Aldo, and I would like to get, you know, check. That's a big opportunity for me to get the belt. So anybody, anybody. I don't, I don't know. Everybody, how's it going? I'm here with Karin Darabidian. Karin, congratulations on your win at WC44 versus Razor Rob McCullough. Now that you have a, a little bit of time to reflect, what do you think about your win? Yeah, you know, I'm just real happy, man. It's my first fight in WEC. Got the win. I went into the fight with two cuts above both my eyes, one on this eye and one on this one. And I mean, I got I got the first cut about a month. No, I, the day I found about the fight, I got the first cut. And two weeks left to the fight, I got the other cut. And I just went in there real, I mean, scared about the cuts because, I mean, any of them opening up would probably end up stopping the fight. So, I mean, for me to go in there with these two cuts and facing the former champ, first time in the WEC, just to get the win, I mean, it was a really big thing. Uh, I mean, I'm just really happy, man. I can't complain. What?
did you do specifically to train for Rob? You know, I, I, I stuck to my same training. I mean, uh, I, I didn't really change anything. I, like I said, I never go into a fight with a really, really big time game plan. I just go in there and I take what I get, you know. Uh, you know, I, I could have probably done a little bit more on the ground. I could have tried to go to the ground a little bit more to play on the safe side. But, I mean, I felt comfortable on the stand up and I, I worked on my stand up for the fight. I mean, and mostly conditioning. I'll say the main factor was my conditioning and that's about it, so. Now, were you surprised at all that Rob wasn't able to land more on you on the stand-up? You know what? Uh, uh, you know what? I went into the fight and I told everybody that I'm gonna stand up, and everybody was surprised. Then they're all like, "Oh, he's just lying to us, just for uh, just for TV," you know. But uh, I I knew I knew going into the fight that I had a little bit of a boxing edge. I didn't know about the kicking too much, but I knew I had a boxing edge. And I knew my footwork would catch him off guard. And I mean, he caught, he caught, he would, he would keep checking my legs. It didn't really bother me. I didn't feel, I didn't feel any of the leg kicks until the next day. But I mean, uh, I could have done more maybe instead of beating the leg kicks. I could have checked them. But I mean, I mean, once I went in there, I started moving a little bit, and I, I saw, I made him miss a couple of times, and I caught him. I think that just really messed up his game plan. So, and you know, I was real cautious about my eyes and. He has heavy hands, you know, I didn't want to get caught by anything out of nowhere and go to sleep, you know, so. He's tough, man, I can't, I mean, I caught him a couple of really heavy hands too, but I mean, and I have pretty heavy hands too myself, but I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't really show that he was really dazed, but mm. it's a really tough fight, man, I'm just, I don't know, so I'm just really happy. Yeah, I noticed uh, your footwork kind of offset a lot of the feints he was throwing at you. Um, was that your footwork something you uh, you know you planned that it would confuse them or? You know, I, I I had a feeling that that would happen. I had a feeling that my footwork would really catch him off guard, and you know he's really used to people standing in front of him and trying to shoot in, and and I knew he was going to be really prepared for my shooting, so I didn't really go in for the takedowns too much. I thought I would just tire myself out, and you know since the stand up wasn't really. Uh, I mean, I, I felt like I was comfortable on stand-up, and I didn't feel like I was losing the fight when I was standing up. So that's why I didn't rush into the takedown. And I mean, once I got the first cut on my eye, under my eye, I thought it was the cut that I had before, so I kind of got panicked, and I didn't know what, I thought they were going to stop the fight because I saw blood in my hand. And so that's why I went in for the first takedown. And, uh, over there, I, I had a pretty good ground and pound going, and out of nowhere, I went for a leg lock. And I just messed up my whole thing, and he got right back up. And it was a really good learning experience, man. And I needed a three-five minute round fight just to know that my stamina is up to date. So now, uh, with this win, what's next for you, man? I don't know, man. Uh, whatever, whatever the WC tells me, I have to do. I, I hope, I hope they can try to build me up a little bit instead of really throwing me to the wolves. I mean, I took this fight on like 29 days' notice, and. And first fight in the WC happened to fight the former champ, so it wasn't like they gave me an easy fight. And I would hope that, you know, they would at least try to build me up a couple of fights before they really throw me into anything really big. But I mean, as long as I have a month, two months notice, and I have enough time to prepare, I think I'll be fine with just about anybody at 155. I mean, you know, I just, I just really want to. I mean, I think I need time before I step into the big guys, but. Whatever the WC throws at me, man, I'm willing to take it. So. Cool. Well, congratulations. Thanks Thank for uh, so talking much. to us, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you.